Hello everyone, I'm glad to see you on my channel and today we are going to practice determining the rhythm together. I decided to make this video interactive in a new format, so I would greatly appreciate your feedback in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not miss any new videos and let's get started. But first, let me remind you several questions you need to ask to determine the rhythm. Is there a P wave on the ECG? Does the P wave meet the criteria for sinus rhythm? Is the P wave consistent within the same lead? Is there a relationship between the P wave and the QRS complex? And if so, what is it? What is the morphology of the QRS complex? Are the atrial and ventricle contractions regular? So, let's practice. Here an ECG in front of you. What rhythm is present here? You can pause the video and think about it. We look for the P wave. Here it is. It's positive at lead 2 and negative at lead AVR. Consistent within the same lead and precedes the curious complex. The curious complex is narrow, not widened or deformed. The rhythm is irregular, so this is a sinus rhythm. Now let's look at this CG. What rhythm is present here? Look, the P wave is already negative at lead 2 and positive at lead AVR, consistent within the same lead and it still precedes the curious complex, indicating that the atrium are being activated before the ventriculus. This means that the rhythm source is in atrium, but the P wave is not typical for sinus rhythm. There is a clear relationship between P wave and curious complex. The curious complex is narrow and not deformed. The rhythm is regular. This is an atrial rhythm. Let's take a look at this CG. What rhythm is present here? We look for the P wave. It's there, but it varies within the same lead. We see positive P wave, negative P wave, different type of positive P wave and the P wave precedes the curious complex and the curious complex is narrow and not widened or deformed. What rhythm is this when we see different P waves within the same lead? It's called wandering atrial pacemaker. This means that the rhythm source migrates through the atrium from one contraction to another. What rhythm is present on this CG? We look for the P wave. We don't see any P wave before the QRS complex. But we see a negative P wave after each QRS complex. It's consistent within the same lead and the QRS complex is narrow and not widened or deformed. The rhythm is regular. The presence of the P wave after QRS complex indicates that the ventriculus are being activated before the atrium. The narrow QRS complex suggests that the rhythm source is not in the ventriculus but above them. This is an AV nodal rhythm. Now let's think about the rhythm here. We look for the P wave, but there is no P waves. The curious complex is narrow and not widened or deformed. The rhythm is irregular. This is atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation characterized by the combination of two main features, the absence of P waves and an irregular rhythm. If you enjoyed this video format, please provide feedback in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and bye-bye!